There's five physical things that a scout looks at when he's evaluating players. Those things are running, throwing, fielding, hitting, and power hitting. Each one of the scouts will put the kid's evaluation into a present and future rating. So where he is on the scouting scale currently and where he will be when he maxes out in the future. Former professional baseball player and international scout for the Chicago Cubs and the Anaheim Angels, businessman and ESPN radio talk show host, Tad Powers has a never-ending passion for the game. Founder of the Sandlot Baseball and Softball Academies, he enjoys teaching the ABCs of life to Sandlot franchisees and their coaches. At the Sandlot, we also focus on the ABCs of life, and for me, that's academics, baseball, and character. And through our CHAMPS program, we promote the ABCs of life with coachability, honor, attitude, perseverance, mentorships, and sportsmanship. These are the things that we try to promote in our academy on a daily basis. We try to challenge our kids to not only be aware of these acronyms in the word champs in our academy, but also in home and at school. The Sandlot is a premier provider of baseball and softball instruction in the U.S. The training academies have been generating lots of interest from television news stations around the country. All right, everyone, we're at Sandlot in Orange County, where anyone can train like a major league hitter. Come on. At first glance, this looks like just your ordinary batting cage, but it's anything but ordinary. Sandlot Baseball and Softball Academy is offering the Pro Batter System. It simulates a pitcher's actual motions using the projector screen, and the ball comes out at the point a pitcher would release the ball. The Sandlot name is also being heard on ESPN radio stations across the nation through the Sandlot baseball radio program that powers hosts. Guests include major league players, coaches, managers, and others who share stories about their early playing experiences. You're listening to The Sandlot. I'm your host, Tad Powers. The father of Derek Lee, Leon Lee, and Derek himself are next. Pitch. A little pop fly toward Mark Grace. He's waiting. He's got it. The Cubs are in the Leon playoffs. Lee knows the GOAT better than anyone. Listen to Leon Lee. The Dallas, Texas facility is one of the 20-plus training academies and buying group members throughout the U.S. Spencer Pickard is the owner. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved baseball. I always wanted to own my own business. When I heard about the opportunity at the Sandlot Baseball and Softball Academies, I felt like it was a great way to get the best of both worlds. My kids have gotten a competitive edge being able to train in my facility, and I'm getting a great return on my investment. Tad Power's combined experience as a player, a scout, and a businessman has helped him create an excellent program for the Sandlot Baseball and Softball Academies. He has trained my staff and myself on the ins and outs of baseball and Major League Baseball and has given us a unique edge on the competition. The Sandlot Specialized Program goes beyond just the physical training on the field, also focuses on heart, attitude, and mental preparation. Our goal at the Sandlot is to instill lifelong learning systems for both mind and body. We want to create successful, dedicated, and respectful children by reinforcing positive values in a very unique baseball and softball setting. Makeup, which incorporates the player's character, attitude, dedication, level of respect, and self-confidence, is at the core of the program. One of the hardest things as a scout to do is make a determination on all the kids that are out there. Who do you going to go after? Who are you going to sign? Who are you going to offer a contract to? And one of the determinative factors for me was not only if he could run, throw, field, hit, and power hit, but what was in his head and his heart. And that's the makeup element of the kid. And that's why we have the champs program. I've had several kids when I went to a world baseball tournament where, you know, you go to a world baseball tournament and you got Cuba and the Dominican and Venezuela and Puerto Rico and Mexico and Australia and the U.S. and Canada. And it's their best under one, under 21 players in, in their countries. Everybody can run throw field hit and power hit. But what makes the determination on who you're going to try to go after is a kid that shows that he's a great teammate, a leader on and off the field, and you try to zero in on maybe some of the parents and friends of his that might be attending those games and get an idea of what kind of person he is off the field, what kind of student he is, what kind of family member he is. From beginners just picking out their first bat to pro players practicing in the offseason, the Sandlot is a place where everybody plays. The Sandlot is where everybody plays, so that means our teams are all inclusive and participants are never eliminated due to their skill level. At the Sandlot, everybody learns together and grows together. We offer a safe place 
for new and less skilled players to come and learn. Many of the other facilities around the country only offer the high-tech equipment for elite players. Here at the Sandlot, our motto is that it's where everybody plays. So whether you're a kid that needs to figure out how to grip a bat, how to stand and hit a ball off of the tee, or whether you're a professional player, the Sandlot has everything you need right under one roof. It is very rewarding to know that I can have a positive impact on the students that train in my facility, both on and off the field. Whether they make it to the major leagues or they pursue a different career path, we can help them be successful in life. One thing we're going to work on with Joe is I want to I want to utilize his whole body. Okay, I want to incorporate his legs. Okay, I want to I'm going to teach him how to use his lower half. To get Sandlot has been good for uh, Joseph. He's worked with uh, mine, the coach here. I think it's good because as well as good instruction, he's also receiving just good values. Um, being able to see somebody who, who models good values through the coaching, mentoring relationship. Powers is extending the Academy's reach to the community through a nonprofit organization called the Sandlot Foundation. We believe that anybody that wants to play should be able to play. That's why we set up the Sandlot Foundation. Through our scholarship and mentoring program, underprivileged kids still get the opportunity to get baseball and softball instruction in a facility. The Sandlot also offers the Sandlot Experience, an exciting one-of-a-kind sports complex in the high country of Colorado, which redefines tournament baseball. To learn more, log on to sandlotacademies.com. The Sandlot Radio Network, visit sandlotradionetwork.com. And the Sandlot Experience, go to sandlotexperience.com or call toll-free 866-538-5951.